In Georgia, the ruling party has dropped a controversial foreign agent bill following two nights of violent clashes between police and protesters. Despite the U-turn, thousands continue to rally in the capital, Tbilisi, tonight. They fear the government wants to put Georgia on a path towards authoritarianism and away from its goal of joining the European Union. The draft echoed a Russian law used to silence critics and protesters vowed to resist what they call government attempts to drag the country back under the Kremlin's influence. The aftermath of the battle between protesters and police is visible on the streets of Tbilisi. And the demonstrators have won. For now, the ruling Georgian Dream Party is backing down. The government chairman confirming that they will retract the draft foreign agent law that critics claim is undemocratic. The legislation will be brought out for its second hearing, and during that second hearing, it will fail. Let me once again make this political statement. The law will fail by no one voting for it, and this will resolve the issue. The legislation would have required NGOs and independent media who receive more than 20% of their funding from abroad to declare themselves foreign agents. Protesters clashed with police for more than two consecutive days. 50 officers were injured and more than 70 arrests were made on Thursday alone. Demonstrators said the law is reminiscent of existing legislation in Russia that has been used to crack down on dissent and that it could damage the country's relationship with the European Union. The opposition say that the fight may not be over. Georgian dream has not come up against a political power, but the power of the people, and they had to retreat. But we need to keep our protests going, since Georgian dream may try to cheat. Opponents of the Georgian government say they will hold them to their word. TW correspondent Maria Katamatsa is in Tbilisi and I asked if the protesters don't believe the government will keep its word on withdrawing the controversial legislation. Uh, yes, Nicole, people are still coming to Rustavelli uh, at the Parliament, uh, Parliament Square uh, where the protest has been going on for uh, past uh, three days. And uh, um, we have spoke to some of the protesters and they said that they don't really believe the government anymore given that they allowed such a bill, you know, being discussed even in the Parliament. So they are saying that they don't have any trust to the uh, ruling party, Georgian Dream, and they won't uh, surrender until the law is uh, legally withdrawn from the parliament. We also have reports that demonstrators detained during anti-government rallies have been released. Can you confirm that? What are you hearing there? Uh, yes, uh, you know, the organizers announced that some of the uh, protesters, detained protesters, uh, were released uh, earlier and people were, you know, dancing, chanting and uh, uh, chanting freedom, freedom to Georgia. And, um, Nicole, it's very uh, interesting to observe how anti-legislation, anti-foreign law, uh, foreign agent law legislation became a very kind of pro-European uh, rally, anti kremlin rally people were saying never back to Russia we will not surrender until we you know uh, we'll get to the European Union and today people are really really happy but still very vigilant uh, they're following what the government's response would be mm. I want to know what you make of today's official announcement that Parliament will be shut down for several days the announcement read due to the damage inflicted by violent protesters to the parliament building. Now, it is parliament that has to formally withdraw this controversial bill, isn't it? Does that contribute to the distrust that these people out there on the street are voicing? Yes, actually, uh, not anymore because uh, we've, we've just received a, a, a statement from the parliament saying that tomorrow there will be a hearing in the parliament at uh, 12 o'clock and they, the parliamentarians will be discussing, you know, important issues, not specifying what exactly, but uh, people here are uh, saying that it might be, you know, foreign agent law, but still, as I said, the suspicion is still there and uh, tomorrow we will see how uh, 
how Georgia's opposition, uh, Georgia's opposition to this foreign or agent law uh, worked out in the end. Maria Katamatsa in Tbilisi, thank you so much for that update. Georgia formally applied for EU membership less than two weeks after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. So I asked Viola von Kramon, a member of the European Parliament for the German Green Party, if Georgia is in good graces after dropping the foreign agent bill. Well, I wouldn't say so. So first of all, I mean, we have a long list uh, of reforms which uh, need to take place uh, before uh, the Commission will uh, assess the country as ready for a candidate status. But regarding this foreign agent law, uh, we need a second voting on that. So now there was a first voting. It was actually not just draft. It was already voted in by the majority of the uh, present uh, MPs in the parliament. And uh, there is not uh, such a regulation that the government can just say they withdraw, but it needs a separate procedure in this, in the parliament. And then we can definitely say it is withdrawn by, uh, the, parla by the majority of, of the parliament and that needs to be done. Hmm. It looks like this, uh, this procedure will take place uh, tomorrow or will at least be initiated tomorrow. But uh, how much damage has all of this done to Tbilisi's ties with Brussels? No, absolutely. I mean, what we have seen, it's extremely unfortunate. I mean, you know that the majority of the Georgian population, of the Georgian people, more than 83 percent are in favor of the EU integration process, are in favor of any kind of candidacy, uh, membership perspective, or at least this Western uh, uh, direction and, and Western perspective. But the ruling party acts definitely against this perspective, does everything uh, in terms of rule of law, in terms of media, in terms of now this foreign agent, but many more actions are being taken actually to undermine the will of the people, to undermine this perspective and to see this, how this is polarizing uh, for the last weeks and months is extremely tragic uh, to, to observe, yeah. Mm. Nonetheless, the Georgia Dream Party says it remains committed to the country's EU membership bid. How does that go together in, in your view? Well, this is a, a lip uh, service. I mean, to be honest, everything they do is just the opposite of what they claim or what they say they want to do. And people recognize that, people understand that uh, this, unfortunately, government uh, does not act in favor of the will of the people, but rather for whatever interest. I don't know which interest they represent, but obviously not the majority of the people who would like to see a different course and a, and a different direction. Yes, um, they reject to work uh, with us in the uh, European Parliament difficult for the last three and a half years to even find a day that we can meet and exchange. So um, there is no appetite whatsoever on the Georgian Dream side, on the ruling party side, to find the proper way how to cooperate with us in the European Parliament, neither in the European institution. And that is, as I said, extremely unfortunate. Yeah. There has been a lot of talk about how much this uh, so-called foreign agent bill resembled Russian legislation used to silence critics. You know Georgia very well. Does Russia really have that much influence on the current Georgian government? I was always very reluctant uh, to state this kind of, I mean, this very clear and harsh um, uh, statement to say that there is a, a clear influence uh, coming from, from Russia. But what is very obvious is uh, the influence, the desinfo campaign, the smear campaigns, the attacks on civil society, on international partners uh, such as the US, such as we, all those friends of Georgia being attacked uh, very systematically and, and, and I don't know why they do this. If they really would like to see themselves as a, as a, uh, I mean, the country as part of the club, uh, as member of the club, 
they wouldn't do so. So obviously something is going completely wrong, whether this is only because of the Russian influence, whether this is only somebody else in the background steers this process, I can't say, but it's a very dangerous development. That's that's for sure. And um, I do understand why people in the uh, went to the streets and, 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 and took actions here. So the bill is off the table, but the question marks remain. Viola von Kramon, member of the European Parliament, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me.